this backflow preventer thing sucks. It sprays out a bunch of water out of these relief pressure relief holes or whatever they are. And I couldn't get it off because this little uh this little screw right here they lock it in and then bust it off so you can't remove it or so it doesn't move so I had to drill out the the screw it's a little bit tough to see the angle but use the eighth inch uh, drill bit one of those uh, black oh man carbide bits maybe and uh, drilled out the screw and then took a pliers and twisted it off got it off there with the pliers channel lock and pliers but you can see what it did to the threads kind of and I saw this on somebody else's video it tears up the threads well I think that's partly because when you drill it out and then some of those shavings get worked into the threads as you're taking it off with the pliers. So I cleaned off the shavings after uh, after getting the thing off of there. And um, back to just a plain old faucet now. But at least it's not going to spray out a whole bunch of water out of these uh, stinking relief holes or whatever they are. Had to drill that that out though, and uh, yep, thing was a pain in the butt. I'm not sure if it's it's if it's required for code here. It's a townhome, but it was not a good good design. At least not by the time I inherited it. It was spraying all over the place, and it was. Not because of a, a, a hose issue, you know. The hose was sealed fine, and the thing was spraying all over the damn place. So forget that uh, backflow preventer or pressure relief valve or si anti-siphon or whatever they call it. We're going to find something else.